So this is the last type of problem. Um, most of it is, is relatively straightforward, very much like the last one. If tangents intersect outside the circle, it's just the same as when uh, secants intersect outside the circle. So we have two tangents, they intersect out here, um, and we're going to use the same formula. The measure is of this angle right here is one half the difference between these two, ma this major arc and this minor arc. Um, we're going to be able to see it because they're going to give you some idea of what's going on. Most likely, they're going to give you one of the arcs. All right, those are the two easy ways to figure this out. If they give you one arc, you subtract that from 360, and then you can find what's going on, right? If they give you one arc, then you find the difference uh, of, you find this major arc. Let's say they give you, um, let's make it real simple. Let's make this 260 out here. Well, if this is 260 out here, then this has to be 100, right? 260 plus 100 gives me the whole thing, right? So now I know how to find the measure of this angle because all I have to do is put it into this formula. So I'm going to write it down here. The measure of the angle is equal to one half the difference of the two arcs. So I'm going to say it's 260 minus 100, and that'll give me the measure of the angle equals one half of 160. Therefore, the measure of the angle has to be 80. Okay, so that's that's how you do the math when you're given one or the other. Okay, so you're gonna find find out how much more of it equals 360, right? So you're gonna make sure that you have the two arcs there, um, and then you're gonna solve for that angle. All right, I may have misspoke earlier in, in a video, and now I want to clear this up, make sure we're doing the right thing. Um, we're gonna do the most difficult problem. Uh, in a moment. I want you to be able to do these two problems and there's one last type of problem using this idea that I want to take an entire video just to solve.